Hello and welcome. My name is Jan Dirk Schmöcker. I'm originally from Germany. I've been studying in the UK and in Japan. And I've been now here working in Kyoto University since 2010. My field of research is transport, transport planning. And I'm interested in mathematical models to describe passenger behavior and to evaluate the performance of transportation systems. Japan, with its rich data and with its many opportunities and its good public transportation system, is a very good and exciting place to do this. Thank you very much for watching this video. In the following, my colleagues, my students and I want to introduce you to some of the projects we are doing and give you an impression why it is exciting to be a member of our lab and what the opportunities are if you do transportation research. Our ITS lab is within the Department of Urban Management, which is in the Graduate School and Faculty of Engineering at Kyoto University. The head of our lab is Professor Tadashi Yamada, who is also a professor in the Business School. In our lab, we conduct research on a wide range of topics. We want to understand and solve transport-related problems so that ultimately the safety and well-being of people improves. In some of our research, we look at problems in Kyoto, such as congestion in public transport, traffic safety and problems related to tourism in Kyoto. Other research is theoretical and some is in collaboration with international partners where we use data from other cities. In our activities, sustainable transport, economic developments, the risk of natural disasters and considering the impact of climate change are important keywords. Our research includes mathematical modeling, data science, simulations, but we also frequently refer to social psychology to be able to understand the behavior of people. This interaction of human behavior and physics in its various forms makes transport planning such a fascinating research field. Let us now introduce some of our research projects to you. Hello, I'm Satoshi Nakao, an assistant professor at this Yamada laboratory. So I've studied mobility, not only from an engineering aspect, but also from a historical and psychology perspectives. Now I've been working uh, with lab students to research independent mobility of elderly people and uh, children. Also, I'm involved in a project uh, with Nakagyo Ward of Kyoto City to create uh, walkable and uh, livable streets where people can walk and uh, interact safely and uh, comfortably. I'm Thai. My name is Stella Namulindo, a D1 student at the Intelligent Transport Systems Laboratory. Very thrilled to share to you the exciting world of our research here at the laboratory. Part of our research at the ITS laboratory entails an in-depth analysis of emergent synergies such as AI and big data to unveil and understand how such tools can support, modify, expand or substitute the mobility of passengers and freight. For example, as part of my master's thesis in a recently concluded experiment, we designed and successfully deployed a bilingual Wi-Fi sensor database web application, also called Katsura Campus Wi-Fi Times, that provides students with real-time information on crowd levels at specific points of interest on campus such as the cafeteria, which ultimately improves their access and end-user experience. This and more cutting-edge research has recently been delivered Thanks to the incredible support of our team head, Shomak Sensei, and our diverse and cohesive team of researchers who are working tirelessly to push the frontier of possibilities towards a brighter and more connected future. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. Stay tuned for more updates at ITS Lab, where innovation knows no bounds. Thank you. If you like playing video games, in particular the simulation games of city building, you will be excited about what we are doing. In our lab, with the power of urban big data, machine learning, and simulation models, you can create your own city simulator, which I know as Urban Digital Twins. And this time, you will play the game for real. 
you can foresee the impacts of the policy you are going to make as a city planner. You are considering for real city problems such as the COVID-19 pandemic. Our lab is leading an international collaboration research project between four countries of two continents. The projects are called Daluma. The project aims to shape a city like Daluma. When disaster or pandemic occurs, the city can recover from it as soon as possible. We are collecting map data, Google Popular Times, social media posts and trends to create the urban digital twin. We are also developing advanced deep learning and optimization model to make forecasts and recover plans for unexpected events. Many young students are interested in big data nowadays. Have you ever considered that some graph you check every day actually can uh, the data can be collected and can be used to shape a better city. An example is the information provided by Google Public Times. Using this data, we capture the dynamics of urban activities in response to the COVID-19 in many cities and a snowstorm in Madrid. We can learn from the past and prepare for the future disasters. Hello, I'm Aobak Tayama. I'm a master's one student from Japan. I'm now conducting research with deep learning techniques. I'm trying to forecast the GDP of Japan by uh, using graph convolutional neural network. To conduct my research, uh, I regularly discuss with uh, laboratory members, either in the lab or in group meetings. This laboratory gives me plenty of opportunities to interact with many foreigners. Before I joined this laboratory, I had few chance to use English in my life, but now I start to become more confident. Later this year, I also travel to Hong Kong to attend the international conference and present my research. Hello, I would like to add that our lab is also engaged in the theoretical research based on the mathematical modeling. In my research, I focus on the pricing strategy of public transport to improve the travel time reliability. We propose premium fares as a novel pricing tool. The idea is that passengers holding premium tickets are allowed to use an alternative service free of charge if the train service is expected to be delayed significantly. And we aim to find out a suitable price for such a ticket. In the ATS lab, we hope to contribute to discussions on transport system integration and the ideas such as mobility as a service. Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Kehler and I'm a GSPS International Research Fellow from Munich, Germany. Um, the focus of my research is the depiction of um, urban infrastructure and the microscopic simulation of traffic flow in the city of Kyoto. We use static and dynamic geodata to calibrate our simulation networks and to simulate the flows of tourists and the usage of public transport services. Creating this simulation testbed built on a digital depiction of the whole city is part of our idea of implementing an urban digital twin of the city of Kyoto. Hello. Uh, my name is Tiranai Putlap, a student from Indies ITS lab from Thailand. And today I would like to mention about the activity in this laboratory. So our laboratory has a weekly group meeting as a platform as a, for collaborative discussion for students to discuss the research study with academic professors. It also has been a platform for us to exchange the idea and knowledge between friends and seniors within the lab, creating an engaging and academic environment. Moreover, this laboratory also has many extracurricular activity and entertainment uh, to enjoy together within the lab. For example, hiking, partying, and uh, playing sport together. Our lab has currently 20 members, including bachelor students uh, in their last year, uh, master students, doctor students, and uh, postdoctor. Uh, one of the attractive uh, points about our laboratory is how international it is because about half of the students are international. They are from China, 
Korea, Thailand, Wyand, and、uh, Germany. So, also this year, through international project, we have had visitors who stayed with us from several months from Spain,、uh, Canada, Germany, and Australia. Overall, I hope this video has given you some impression as what we are doing in this lab and what transportation research is about. I hope it has shown you how the new data, small data, big data, are giving us many opportunities to shape the cities of our future. There's plenty of research to do. Our research will be of use to society. Um, and there are plenty of opportunities for you to engage in academia and industry if you work with us. We hope to hear your opinions and your ideas as to what our transportation systems of the future should be like. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you in, in Kyoto. And we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. <laughs>